Hey everybody, um, welcome. It is great to have you on board. My name is Kim. I will be um, your UC and tutor throughout this unit and um, I'm hoping you're absolutely going to love it. It's a first run unit on um, OUA, so this is the first time it's run on OUA. It's usually, well, it ran on campus um, and so we've adjusted it and adapted it a bit to fit um, in the online space and in that way you're really lucky because what we will be able to do is respond to how you're going and what you're doing and work around that and all the feedback and everything we get from this will go on to inform how the unit continues to go in future. So you're having a huge part in this unit. Um, being one of the STEM electives, it is all based on the same philosophy of STEM. So you'll find in the first couple weeks activity, it's about building that philosophy of STEM. Once you have done the little test and your little box appears and you can print out the certificate, we've got a padlet for you to put your certificates on so we can see all your wonderful certificates and how brilliant you are. Um, you'll be able to use that in the other STEM-based units because all of them have that first couple weeks with the STEM philosophy. So once you've passed it, you've already passed it, you've got the certificate and you won't have to do it again. So um, it's great that they all build on each other that way. Now, once you've got past the STEM philosophy, this unit is brilliant because you get to make stuff. <laughs> and everybody loves making stuff. So when you're doing the project-based learning, we've got a series of projects for you to do. And you've got to make things. You'll find in the mail, we're sending you a Christmas gift of the first couple of projects um, equipment that you need to make it. After that, you've got to practice sourcing your own because when you become teachers, you are going to be out there sourcing your own equipment and knowing where all of this stuff comes from. Then once you um, we discuss it, we discuss all the theory behind it, and then the next week, so every second week, you get to make something and share it up on the Padlet. And you can make a little video of you making it and show the end product. It's up to you how you present these on the Padlet. But it'll be great because you'll be able to share them. When we did them um, on campus, they were done in classrooms with children. Obviously, we can't do that in an online environment. So you are going to be making them and then you're going to be showing us how you make them on the Padlet and sharing. And then we can all get feedback and ideas on all the ways we've done it. So it's meant to be a very collaborative unit. Um, obviously, on campus, it's an incredibly collaborative unit. Online, we're not quite sure how collaborative you're going to be able to be and how we can encourage you to do that. That's why we're using the Padlets because it makes it a lot easier and you'll get notifications that way every time somebody gives you a comment or posts on there so that you can keep up with what everybody else is doing. It almost also means that if you're having trouble building it or creating it for some reason, it's very easy to get nice quick feedback. So that's what that is there for. Um, I'm really hoping you love this unit. If you could, um, in this introduction, so in this introduction thread on the discussion board, if you could just write a little bit about yourself, um, how long you've been studying education, where you've come from, why you want to learn to be a STEM teacher, what you think is brilliant about STEM. I, mean, it, I think it is probably one of the best things you can possibly have on your CV in this climate, especially after the Godsky report, which I, the latest one I think is going to really push STEM education in Australia. And I think that's very important because at the moment, STEM is, um, or all the STEM subjects are on the decline in upper school, the enrollment's on decline, um, both male and female. And also females are choosing, opting out of those subjects as well when often they can, ex they can excel just as well as anybody else in those subjects, but they are hard work and the way they're presented at schools at the moment and they're not seen as fun or creative or building or collaborative, which is exactly what all STEM subjects are because you are creating things, you're building technology, engineering is all about collaborating with different people and creating things. Science is the same. It's all about collaborating, understanding, researching, looking, drawing. All of that is part of science. And it is so important that children get that attitude that they can and it's fun. And um, 
I think this unit, you'll get that attitude as well. So hopefully you love this unit. Um, pop in your little welcome a little bit about yourself, where you're from, how long you've been in education, in the education unit. So Because we've got people from first, second, third and fourth year enrolled in this. So just tell us a little bit about yourself, your background, um, why you love STEM education. And that way we can all get to know each other. Um, I hope to chat to you very soon. If you've got any questions at all, pop them in the questions thread or you can email me on kim.balnaves at curtain.edu.au and I'll be very happy to answer anything you've got. Although putting it on the DB is great because then if somebody else has got the same question, they've already got the answer there and they'll be going, thank you, thank you, thank you for doing that. Anyway, I'll chat to you very soon. Thank you for enrolling in this unit and I hope you absolutely love it. Okay, bye.